Hello friends, we can see a new reactions known as Clemenson reduction reactions. Here, for, while taking the Clemenson reduction reactions, we can take an example. From that example, we can define the Clemenson reduction reactions. In this example, we can take a C6 H5 C double bond O C3. This is the acetophenone, which is reacted with the zinc and mercury in presence of concentrated HCl to form C6H5CH2CS3. It is the carbonyl compounds. It is the carbonyl compounds. This is the carbonyl compounds. And here it is the methylene group. It is the methylene groups. Here in this reaction see the carbonyl group it can be reduced to methylene groups means reduction can be take place and here this reduction was first found by the scientist Clemenson that's why this overall reaction is known as Clemenson reductions here this compound is also known as acetophenone acetophenone and this compound is also known as ethyl benzene ethyl benzene we have to define the clima, we have to define the Clemenson reactions. Here in the Clemenson reduction reactions, how we can define the reduction of reduction of carbonyl groups, carbonyl groups of aldehyde, carbonyl groups of aldehydes or ketone reduction of carbonyl groups of aldehydes and ketones to to methylene groups to methylene groups in presence of in presence of zinc amalgamated zinc in excess of concentrated HCl to form in presence of concentrated HCl is called as is called as Clemenson reduction Clemenson reduction the simple definitions in this reaction only we have to reduce the carbonyl group of aldehydes or ketones to methylene groups by using the catalyst by using the catalyst zinc amalgam and HCl these are simple reactions of the Clemenson reactions the reaction can be take place in acidic medium acidic medium we can see the mechanism of the Clemenson reduction reactions in the mechanisms see what happens we can see step by step here this is the C double bond O it is our the we can take only the carbonic compounds because the reaction can be take place only the reaction can be take place only this carbonyl compounds which can be reduced to CH2 groups the remaining part is same here remaining part is the same as it is remaining part is same as it is see here remaining part is same as it is that's why we can write only the carbonyl compounds now we can get the methylene groups in the mechanisms see what happens these are carbonyl groups and which can be reacted with the zinc these are metals and here metals they can contain a lone pair of electrons they can use here and here what type of arrangement can be take the C the C O minus and here is the negative charge and the electron can be donated by the zinc again see here what happens these molecules can be again reacted with the two molecule of HCl this HCl which can use the two H plus ions the one H plus ions can be go there and other H plus ions go here what what is the product OH here again here hydrogen is there and this is the as it is then we can again carry out the protonation of these compounds protonation and here the H plus was given from the concentrated acids here the lone pair of the oxygen atoms they can take these protons 
and protonation of this compound can be take place here what happens OH2 positive here hydrogen as it is in this reactions again the water molecule is eliminated minus H2 and again there is a formation of CH H and here again is the positive charge in this reaction again we have again a zinc molecules which contain lone para electrons they can give here lone para electrons again there is a formation of carbon ions H and here as it is again we have the HCl molecules and these HCl molecules we know that they can give the protons to these sides again there is a formation of C H, H and this. Here we know that in the first slide you can see these carbonyl groups which can be reduced to methylene groups. It is the carbonyl group. Here it is the it is the methylene groups. Methylene groups. Here this is the reaction can be take place. That is the, this reaction is called as reduction reactions. Here I am repeating this mechanism once again. The zinc metals they can give its electron to the carbonyl groups and there is a formation of the carbon. Again this carbon which can react with the two molecule of the HCl there is a formation of this intermediates. In that intermediate oxygen atom contain lone pair of electron which can be protonated by using the HCl molecules to form these intermediates and these intermediates which has lost the water molecules and there is again formation of the cations and these cations which again regain a pair of electrons from the zinc metals again here zinc dipositive is here again here is also, also minus zinc dipositive zinc can donate a pair of electron and there is a converter into zinc dipositive ions and this again anion can be formed. This anion which can be protonated by using the concentrated HCl molecules and there is a formation of the methylene groups that is the reduction can be take place means here in the Clemenson reaction only the reduction of the carbonyl group of aldehydes and ketones into methylene groups can be take place keep in mind and also like these reactions subscribe my channels and thank you